Hi, I'm Kiana Columna. And I'm Courtney Hunter. This is the Lariat News Network, your source for weekly campus news and updates. The Transfer Day College Fair will take place Wednesday, September 29th from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Numerous state schools and UC representatives will be there to provide you with more information on transferring. Sarah Black reports with more information. Sarah Black reporting for the Lariat. Here I'm with Mickey McCullough-Jack, the Transfer Center Coordinator, and Barbara Vindavides, the Senior Transfer Center Specialist. So, why is the, what is the main purpose in Transfer Day? Well, first off, we want to thank you for being here at, because you are now in our transfer center. And we moved here um, in June. And it's the first time in 41 years of Saddleback history that we've actually had a transfer center. Okay. So thank you for finding us. <laughs> of course. Transfer Day is our most important event. And it's important in several reasons. And one is that the landscape for transfer is changing. And we want to provide our students with opportunities to have a one-on-one -on -one dialogue with representatives from the University of California, and we have all eight, nine of the general campuses, a good portion of Cal State's, a lot of in-state privates and a lot of out-of-state schools are now coming to talk to students from the com community colleges in California about options of looking at their institutions because they know that it's so competitive so selective to get into UCs and Cal States. Mm -hmm. So we want to provide that opportunity for students to have a one-on-one -on -one dialogue. Okay. Anything else? No. It's <laughs> oh, well, we have wonderfully, actually, um, out-of-state schools are really reaching out to our students, like Mickey said. Cornell's coming. Okay. Um, Washington State University, that's the first time they've been to our campus. Okay. Yes. Um, we also have, let's see who else is coming. Um, SC? Oh, USC. This is the only time of the year they'll be here. How many private schools will be coming? Ooh, we have a list. Um, I would say a good, oh my God, that's a long list. I'd say a good 30. Good 30. Mm -hmm. And um, why would it benefit students to participate in Transfer Day? It allows them to validate the, the research we hope they've done, mm -hmm. or if they haven't started their research. This is good for brand new students as well as students who are looking at moving on for fall. Saddleback College has a very successful nursing program, which enrolls about 250 students. On September 30th, there will be a public meeting to follow up the nursing accreditation. Here's Courtney Hunter with more information on the program. Hi, this is Courtney Hunter, and I am sitting outside of Health Science and Human Services Building getting ready to interview Tammy Rice, who is the Assistant Dean of the Health Science and Human Services Department. Let's go upstairs and... Let's go upstairs and interview Tammy. <laughs> no, let's head upstairs and see what... Or say something. Like, let's... Hi, I'm Courtney Hunter, here with Tammy Rice, Assistant Dean of Health Sciences and Human Services. She is here to inform us on the success and accreditation of the nursing program here at Saddleback. Hi, Tammy. Hi, Courtney. Welcome. Thank you very much. So tell me a little bit about the success of the nursing program. Okay, we've had quite a, bit, uh, quite a bit of success since I've been here. I've been here 10 years, and since that time, we have had um, national licensure exam pass rates uh, ranging from 92% to 99.07%. This last year, we did have a 99.07% pass rate with 107 graduates. Um, we also were uh, ranked number one across 972 nursing programs in the United States in NCLEX scores. So we have a very successful group of students that are graduating. We also have um, National League for Nursing Accreditation uh, Commission is coming here on September 29th, 30th, and the 1st uh, of October. They have been here um, once before when I was here. They were here in 2002 and we received accreditation for eight years. So we're hoping that we get eight more years this time and um, we are looking forward to their visit. Great. And then a little bit more about the accreditation on how it works or how long it lasts for. Um, two site visitors are coming. One's from Oklahoma and one's from Texas and they will stay here for three days. They will meet with faculty, staff, students, and all of the um, financial aid people, counselors, all the resources that we use here at the college. They will also meet with the chancellor and the president of Saddleback College, Todd Burnett. 
Wonderful. Well, thank you very much, Tammy. Nice meeting you. Nice meeting you, too. The National League for Nursing Accreditation Commission will be conducting a public meeting at Saddleback College September 30th to check in and follow up on the success and accreditation of the nursing program. The meeting will take place in room 207 of the Health Science Building. From 11 a.m. till noon, people of interest are encouraged to come and voice their opinions to the accrediting team. Written comments may be submitted before September 23rd to Sharon Tanner at sjtanner at nlnac.org. Thank you. On Thursday, September 23rd, there will be an informational meeting on the study abroad program happening at Saddleback. If you are interested in the program, the meeting will take place at SSC 212 at 6 p.m. Here's Kylie Corbett with more information on the program. Hi, I'm Kylie Corbett, and I'm covering the Saddleback College's study abroad program. I'm sitting here with Professor Gary Luke, and he's going to explain to us what he knows about the study abroad program. What is the Oxford study abroad program? Well, thanks for asking, Kylie. It's um, a group of students who go over for about 11 weeks. So um, we take eight weeks worth of class. There's a travel segment involved. Students live with local families, uh, commute to the class. All of them are within a short walk or bus ride. And there are two classes that will be given there and a yoga class. And uh, during the week, there are three days when students go to classes and they'll be learning about um, art from when England was at the height of its empire and they'll be learning um, local literature. Um, so we're looking forward to that, but it's also on the weekends, not only do they get a chance to travel, but there are four field trips. Three of them are all paid for. Okay. One of them is an optional one to York. Another is to uh, Stonehenge and Bath and one's to London with a tour and uh, um, theater tickets, and the other is to Stratford-upon-Avon, and uh, they get to see, again, a, another theater and see Shakespeare's birthplace and the Shakespeare Memorial. So those are some of the field trips, but um, students usually have four-day weekends so that they can travel and connect, and an 11-day spring break. Okay. Okay, I was making sure they weren't over there. Um, why would you encourage students to go? Oh, wow. Uh, most students who've gone before, and this will be my fifth time, have come back and they've said, uh, wow, that was a transformative experience. They grew as individuals. Um, a lot of them first time away from home, so they have to sort of discipline and manage themselves. But yeah. then they're with a group of people they get to know really well and they start to meet people all over the continent. Uh, Oxford is an international city and quite often they travel, they're gonna be in London, and Bath, they'll see Warwick Castle, you know, so there are lots of opportunities to meet people. Change yourself while learning. Okay, well thank you so much. Thank you, Kylie. Thank you. The Saddleback College Foster and Kinship Care Education Program will be holding a free training workshop on the fourth Monday of every month for parents of children with disabilities. The next workshop will be held on September 27, 2010 from 6.30 to 8.30 p.m. Hi, I'm Dylan Luhana reporting for the Saddleback Lariat. Saddleback College will be offering a free training workshop starting on September 27th from 6.30 to 8.30 p.m. The class is targeted at caregivers and foster parents, which is held on the fourth Monday of every month. Director of the program, Nicole Loftus, says this year we hope to continue expanding our program, reinvigorate and develop a new series. Their mission is to provide quality education and support opportunities to youth that are in and out of home care. This has been the Lariat News Network. Pick up the latest copy of the Lariat hitting stands on Wednesday and tune into the broadcast every Monday. Thank you.